everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I am back from my holidays. I had an absolutely incredible holiday in Bali. I was there for 10 days. Definitely not enough. If any of you have been to Bali, please let me know what did you think? What were your favorite parts? Because I'm 100% planning to go back because we did not have time to explore the whole island um, and it was just amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I have been unpacking all my suitcases and there is a lot. You guys, there's a lot of stuff. So much skincare and so much clothes. And I did actually manage to wear most of it, which makes a difference because normally I stick to the same pair of shorts and like one dress and wear it through the whole holiday, but actually this time I managed to wear quite a bit. Today I wanted to share with you my absolute favorite holiday products when it comes to beauty, when it comes to skincare, body care, etc, etc, because we do travel a lot and I have to say that I kind of developed this uh, big beauty bag of things that I just don't go without on any holiday and they are my trusted sidekicks. By the way, if you can see this like dark spot right here, I have absolutely no clue what this is. I got it in Bali and this has been here for about a week now. It has not changed its shape, its color, nothing at all. I have no idea what happened. We went rafting and I think I think, I think that's the time I got it, like after that, that day. But I have no idea what it is. It looks like a burn. I have hair, I have face, I have body here. And I'm gonna start with hair. One of my absolute favorite products to take on a holiday, especially if it's a warm holiday, especially if it's a holiday by the sea or if you're going to the pool, is the Philip Kingsley Swim Cap. This is like a, a balm, like a cream, a conditioner that you apply to wet hair, then you can just brush it through. I usually just tie it in a knot and like this, your hair is protected from chlorine, is protected from the sun. If your hair is colored, this is a great idea to take this with you as well. And then you just take it off with your normal, you know, shampoo and conditioner. It does not make your hair really greasy. And also the time when you wash your hair after using this, your hair will be silky and smooth and amazing. It's like leaving a treatment in your hair for a long time. Then I also have a little, uh, like a spray in conditioner. So this is like a leave in conditioner from Brio Gio. It's called Reparative Leave in Conditioning Spray. And I like things that you can just spray onto your hair that will, again, protect it from drying out. This is a great one to have. And also, I mean, it's an absolute perfect little size. Of course, they do the bigger one. And the last thing is the Moroccan oil treatment. To be honest, you can use avocado oil, you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, whichever oil you have. This one I've just been using for a long time and it's light, so it's not as greasy and as heavy as a lot of like cooking oils can be. I sometimes will again just put it on the ends of my hair and leave it there because in Bali, for example, the humidity was absolutely crazy. I was like, like a lion most of the time. So this actually tamed them a little bit, but again, conditioned them, hydrated them, moisturized them. So those are my three favorites for hair, plus shampoo and conditioners. I usually take Kerastase or Virtue shampoo and conditioners, those are like my favorite. And then I have a little deodorant, and this is the Malin and Goetz Eucalyptus deodorant, and it's a stick deodorant, it's like a transparent stick. The reason why I like this one is, first of all, I like the size of it, it's perfect for traveling. I actually have it in my carry-on bag. It was a long flight, you guys. It was 19 hours, almost 19 hours. We flew from Germany with a stop in Doha. And um, it's a long flight, so deodorant is a good idea. This is just so refreshing, but it doesn't leave any white marks on your clothes if you're wearing dark clothes. And I do really feel like it works. So I could definitely recommend this one. And then hand sanitizer. This is another thing for like a carry-on. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I've been using it for years. I don't know which bottle this is for me. This is the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer and it's a spray one, like a nice spray and I mean Oh, it just smells good. I mean, anything with lavender is amazing because it will calm you down, you know, it's a long flight just to relax you a little bit, but it's also hand sanitizer and you definitely need one on the plane. I have some face sprays uh, because face sprays bead on the plane or on a holiday itself, I have with me 
all the time like that's just one thing i have with me in england all the time and my favorite of all times that i have been banging on on this channel for god knows how long is the mario badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water it has an amazing mist like a beautiful cloud um, of a mist like it's not like too precise that it will ruin your makeup you can set your makeup with it but I use it on the plane just to hydrate my face you can just use it on your body as well and the same when you're on a holiday just to spritz it over your body when it's really hot it was 32 degrees that's hot you guys 32 degrees is hot but obviously this is a big bottle so what I usually do I decant them into tiny little spray bottles like this I don't remember when I got this Jane Ideal spray but it's a perfect little baby bottle that I put in my carry-on this one is good as well but it is glass so this is the herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist then body products the two body creams that I like taking on a holiday is both from Sol de Janeiro it's either the acai body power cream or the Brazilian bum bum cream and both of them are super hydrating they're so lush but also they just smell of holiday for when you're on a holiday and when you come back from a holiday and that smell when you put it on you it just lingers for a while and it stays in your clothes for a while and if you like that scent that's only a good thing they all come in small sizes like this so this is a perfect travel size I use them at home as well. Um, then a little practical thing, a razor. And this is the Venus, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the little one. It's literally tiny and it's perfect because it also has a little case because you don't want your razor hanging about your bag. A girl always needs a razor, especially if she's away for 10 days. Then I have like some shimmery body oils or body creams. One is the Jane Idale Golden Shimmer Face and Body Lotion. When it comes out, it's almost like this rose gold color, but when you blend it in, it just gives you the most beautiful, like glowing, skin especially if you put it on your legs and then you're like heading out to the beach for dinner or something like that it's just so so beautiful another one is the oil and this is the nux um multi-purpose dry oil face body and hair i only use it on the body this is a new bottle for me um they also come in tiny baby bottles like this which is perfect for traveling they are glass but i love the one with shimmer this one is without the shimmer and this looks amazing on your body i have some masks i always take a lot of sheet masks with me on a holiday um especially like soothing hydrating ones especially if you like burn easily which i do sometimes but I do have something to prevent it which I will share in a moment this is like the the ones that I took with me the eye patches I take on the plane this is the rodeal ones then I have secret geese and um, this is the essence ones I love this sheet mask I will leave links to everything that I have mentioned in the description box below if you guys are interested and then the pathology the hydrating mask is great as well and the pharmacy soothing this is one is with kale this is perfect after sun and then i also have the summer fridays jet lag mask it does exactly what it says it's absolutely perfect for jet lagged dehydrated skin and again they do come in smaller sizes so again perfect for taking with you then i have some supplements and that's what i wanted to mention how to prevent yourself from burning i take imidine tan optimizer every single year before we start going on summer holidays, on hot holidays, on holidays where I'm more likely to get tanned or burned. I start taking it like a week, two weeks before the holiday, then I take it during the holiday and a little longer after the holiday. This will protect your skin from burning, it will give you a really nice even tan. It has a blend of carotenoids, so I've been like using this product for years, so I can definitely vouch for it. And another product that I discovered maybe a month ago, this is the Skin Youth Biome from Advanced Nutrition Program. This has 5 million or billion? yeah billion active cultures so this is uh, amazing for your gut and if you're traveling and uh, I mean for me I can always see the change you know with the water with different food just with the being on the plane and um, I always get affected by it and this has made it such a smooth sailing with no bloating 
nothing like that and of course it keeps your skin in a really good condition i only have like two sheets left here so i definitely need to get more but i absolutely love this product it's new product from them and it's amazing then i have a little product from this works this is the breathe in it's a lavender blend roll um from this works and you just put it on like the pulse point of your body so i usually put it on my wrists and I kind of like take a big inhale. You can also put it um, just here. I love using it on a long haul flight because it just helps me sleep, helps me to relax. And then I have makeup. I do take very minimal makeup on a holiday. These are three lip products that I took with me. First one is the Lana Lips. This is like a lemonade lip treatment. Any of the Lana Lips balms I absolutely love. Um, I like this one because it gives you a beautiful, beautiful shine on your lips, but also you could use it as a bit of a highlighter on your cheeks. Then I have the Jane Idale. Um, this is the lip drink in Flirt. And this has SPF, I think, 15. And then the last one is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It's super hydrating, but it just gives you the most beautiful, juicy pout. I have a little bronzer. This is the Hula Benefit. I love this bronzer. It's like a universally flattering bronzer and I've got it in like this travel size and it's perfect because I use it on my eyes if I want to define my eye a little bit. Then I have a brow gel. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, It's perfect just to shape your brows because I do think that shaping your brows or brushing your brows does open up your eye and does make a difference especially if the brow gel is a little bit darker than your um your natural like brows and then i have a better than sex Too faced waterproof mascara the reason why i like to take waterproof is obviously because it's super humid and you go to the pool you go to the beach you never know where you're gonna end up you go rafting and if you do like a bit of mascara this one is really really good and the only like coverage um, foundation concealer product that I took is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer this is all that I took I just put it a little bit under my eyes if I have any breakouts or like scars uh, I will cover it as well this is perfect this is just enough it blends beautifully as long as you get the right shade the last product that I took is the Stila convertible color it's just a really pretty blush I've got it in Lilium but they do come in quite a few shades and this blends so beautifully just gives you a bit of a flush on your cheeks you can also use it on your lips oh yes and almost forgot about sun cream um, the sun creams that I took with me are, are both from Kula so this is the Kula face mineral sunscreen um, this is with cucumber and it has like a matte finish so it's not greasy it doesn't have a white cast and it doesn't make you like super oily or shiny I really like this this is SPF 30 so this is what I would use on my face and on my body I use the Kula spray sunscreen um, this was the first time for me using the spray one I will put the picture on the screen because I actually used it up and threw it away there but it was actually the best absolutely the best um, sunscreen I have ever used because the spray was perfect it sunk into your skin straight away it didn't leave you greasy tacky it was amazing they do an unscented one they do like a coconut smelling one I think something like that but they were fantastic they're a bit of an on a pricier side but it was three of us and we all used it like every single day and it lasted for all of us and I also use an after sun lotion this is the Institute Estoderm Paris tan prolonging body lotion um, it's very soothing it's moisturizing and I did feel like it took the redness down on the days when I kind of had a bit too much sun and that is it you guys oh my god so many products I hope this video is not too long and I hope you're all doing well if you have any questions at all about Bali about my travels, about anything at all, pop them in the comment section below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!